Hi everyone, welcome to Peppy Say. Today I'm going to discuss the mistakes that I have done and I would want you not to repeat those mistakes while traveling from India to USA to JF Kennedy Airport through Dubai. So I will I have already listed down the points which I think uh, could be avoided if you have those information available to you. This information is just according to my experience because I felt that this journey could have been even more smoother and easier if I would know these things from uh, before. So keep watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please feel free to subscribe to my channel by pressing that red subscribe button. Once you subscribe to my channel, you get to see all the informational videos that I post. So these are not mistakes. These are kind of my learnings, which I, you know, just as I told you, which I learned could make my journey more easier. So the first thing I want to talk about here is luggage allowances. So my experience about the luggage is the luggage allowance for carry on baggage, which is hand baggage is seven kgs. So in Kolkata airport, they asked us to measure everything that we have. Like I had a backpack, uh, which uh, which was not counted in Indigo actually. So in Emirates, it is counted within that seven kilos of weight. So seven kg includes your backpack, includes your hand luggage. And even if you're carrying a purse, everything must come under seven kilo. So what I have experienced that if you're carrying a laptop or you are carrying a camera, it comes more or less around with all the gears and everything. It is more than one kilo. It's like one and a half kilo or two kilo uh, of the weight of a computer and laptop. So make sure that you have your things, whatever you are carrying in your hand, in your, uh, you know, carry on luggage, everything makes up to seven kg and not more than that. So we were in a notion that my backpack won't be counted. It will be counted separately as a separate three kilo uh, after seven kgs, but it was not as such. So we had to reshuffle our luggage at the airport. Luckily, we had some space in our uh, check-in luggage. We shifted some of our hand luggage to our check-in luggage. And it is very important if you are traveling frequently or, you know, if, if you have such an important travel, you must have a weighing scale at your home. It was very helpful when we were traveling from Singapore we had a weighing scale there when we came to India we had a weighing scale there it's very very important the second important thing and which I suffered the most is my hand luggage did not had wheels it is a bag which don't have wheels and I was also having my backpack so I had to carry two of them and it was quite heavy you feel very tired when we when you have to walk in airports from one terminal to the other it's really really hectic so to keep things down to keep it easy on you when you are traveling for 20 hours and more make sure your backpack or whatever your hand luggage it has a wheel so that you can just drag it in the airport so that's a thing you must do if you are planning to carry a hand luggage even a backpack don't carry a backpack which don't have wheels the third issue that i faced at dubai airport was at the check-in there were around the four to five check-in points so they were checking everything like our hand luggages, uh, our body, everything was checked at the airport for around four times, four to five times. I clearly don't remember. It is nothing less than four times. So you go to one place, you are checked. You go to another place, you are checked. Before the flight, you are checked. Again, before the entry over there, you are checked. So you will be checked four to five times at Dubai airport. So make sure you don't have any jewelry. I, I wear this bangle all the time. So what happened is at the airport, they told us to remove every jewelry that we have. So even this like watches, we have to remove that in every airport. We have to do that. But even one bangle has to be removed. And, you know, at that point of time, when you have so many things going on in your head, it is difficult to take a keep a note that where you are keeping your valuables like this you open and you throw it somewhere in the bag so make sure you plan all these things beforehand and you know you keep your valuables in a proper place when you are coming uh, so that you don't have to go through all these hustles at the airport the fourth problem which i think was specific to me the bag that i was carrying as my carry-on uh, that was not that sturdy like 
it was not from any brand it was just a road sh side shopping from singapore so it quite served the purpose when we were coming from singapore and i thought if i take a trolley bag it will be heavier the weight of the bag itself will be more than a kg so i thought why not take this bag but as because it was not a branded bag the chain came off just like that uh, while a security officer was trying to open and close the chain so that is one of the nightmare you can face luckily it had two runners on that chain so another one worked so i just told him please leave it like that i will close it no need to you know try it again so that's an incident which might happen with anybody and everybody but but make sure that you carry branded luggages like one i had from vip that's like carry on uh, so that is very good and sturdy i'm using it for last 10 years nothing happened to it no issue with the chain so make sure when you are into this kind of uh, you know international travels all your bags are branded and in a steady condition another very important thing is to keep uh, you know room for your jackets in your hand luggage so make sure you are not carrying 7 kgs of hand luggage because uh, when you you will reach usa the temperature might be in minus or it could be around 1 or 2 degrees celsius like when we reached in uh, new york it was 2 degrees celsius so you will not be wearing those puffer jackets while you are traveling from india but when you come here you have to wear that so so those jackets you can keep in, in your hand luggage so make sure you have room for that even if you are not giving that to the weighing scale while you are giving your you know hand luggage to that person at the airport make sure you wear it and then give your hand luggage but next time when you get back your bag you you have the room not not weight but room in your hand luggage so that you can you know open your jacket and keep it there so once you expect that when you land in usa it will be really chilling cold out here so what i prefer doing is uh, i i packed a separate box like a, a square uh, where i i kept all my like three uh, sets three pairs of hand gloves three caps uh you know then my neck wraps all these things were kept in one uh, you know one quarter bag so that i can just take out that from my hand luggage and everybody could be like well equipped for that cold weather next if you are traveling with a child make sure you pack a set of clothes in your hand luggage extra set of clothes because it might happen they throw some food on it or it gets uh, you know wet through some water or something or they use the washroom and uh, you know they get wet or dirty so whatever it is it might happen in the flight and you must be prepared for that so for that reason you must pack another set of uh, clothes for your child or even for yourself I had packed some snacks for my flight but what I experienced is there is no need to pack snacks for your flight because in Emirates they are offering food every like 2 hours or 3 hours like that and you will be full rest of the time because either they are providing with the cold drinks or some other drinks or food lunch dinner like not lunch but dinner two times we got dinner if you watch my video about my flight experience you will see the whole thing whatever they have served and however it went so you will see all my experience all all everything that we did at the flight and about my complete flight experience so i don't think there is any necessity of packing extra food with you unless you have some specific kind of requirement for your child or for anybody who is traveling with you if you have some special diet requirement then it is okay to pack next thing is if you are traveling from india then it is not that cold as it is expected in uh, usa and then you are coming via another country which is dubai so the temperature in all these places will differ a lot so according to my experience if you you know dress in layers it will be very easy for you to you know open or add another layer to it so that is very helpful and you must have that space in your bag to keep another layer of clothes inside it about the washroom when you are traveling in a flight which takes 14 hours to reach to a destination you have to use the washroom more than once so make sure to use the washroom before the rush hours like if they are serving food if they are ser serving lunch then you know that everybody after the meal will go to the washroom 
or when you are waking up in the morning early morning washrooms will be used as uh, as much as possible so make sure to use the washroom before those wee hours so then you will get it very clean and everything will be proper otherwise it can become little messy so it's my personal experience that before the wee hours when you know that now the rush is going to happen use the toilet beforehand if possible the last thing and one of the most important thing which uh, is important according to me is that to prepare your mind that you are going to sit in a flight for 14 long hours it is very important otherwise you can get bored you can get frustrated you can think about many different things in the world this might happen to you that might happen to you uh, my uh, suggestion would be try to sleep eat and repeat so that was all if you find this video helpful and informational then give this video a like if you have any question ask me in the comments below and if you are happy with the content i'm sharing and want to see more such videos then subscribe to my channel see you in my next video till then take care i love you all and bye bye